components. Is that the right signal? Do all components? Probably HDMI, I would guess. Yeah. If I had to guess. Is this even the right remote? I don't think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there like a short button on the USB? Uh, thou shalt keep it big or something. Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> okay, ready countdown? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. La guerre est aux portes d'Ilis. Une armada d'hommes s'est massée autour de cette paisible planète minière du système 4. Le général Keck, commandant suprême des forces Alpha, souhaite adresser un ultime message à la population. Yeah, it wasn't to be on good niveau any percent, but it was at 30% or first half to be. Yeah, the cutscenes are kind of yeah. harsh on this game and unskippable, so... They're completely unskippable, uh, even if you complete the game once. And therefore a run is like 48 minutes longer yeah. than what it should be. Oh, can you check if my mic comes through at all? Test, one, two, three, test. Yeah, I'm trying to fix that, but... I guess I should just speak up. Does that work at all? Okay. So yeah. He's doing donations on tech. He wants to sleep, so if you want to do donations, please do. Chrono, he wants to sleep, so yeah, replace him. Yeah. Finally, some gameplay, just followed by a cutscene quite close after. Yeah, it's like a short fight, then a cutscene, then a fight, then a cutscene. Pretty slow at this time. We promise the game will feature gameplay at some point after yeah, the intro. Followed by more cutscene, of course, but. attack is like an instant kill on these mobs and when I hit this one suddenly slow motion because I don't know game logic yeah it's, it's really epic and the slow like, motion look. really screws with your combo so you need to slow down this fight is so epic like it's so hard <laughs> you need slow yeah, it for it I mean you could waste like two seconds on this oh it's yeah insane. damn <laughs> gotta go fast <laughs> while in slow mo. Yeah, there's a like I I wouldn't call this fight a boss fight. It's like I don't know. It's pretending to be a boss fight. Yeah, it's like oh, a huge boss. No, nope. It's just so easy. It's ridiculous. Tutorial boss then. Yeah, pretty much. Like this is how you fight. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, it sets up the story. So yeah, that's the main like goal of this I'm actually going to use new strats um, that I found on Tuesday last week so oh, that's um, nice yeah he, he took back his world record bastard okay <laughs> I got the French 
please. Never heard it before, so it's interesting. Let's see if I can do it. There's a special attack I can do here, but she does it whenever she wants to. Yeah, this is basically just stun lock the boss, which is intentional even. Yeah. No, I didn't get a single one. There it is. That last attack is like one hit instead of three hits, and she just does it whenever she wants to. Because like, why not? I, it's just, <laughs> there's no pattern to it. No, it's a pretty simple setup. Yeah. I would like Yeah, more cuts. Yeah, that needs to be tither, but you can't really tither it out. Yeah, exactly. We're trying, but. It's sort of a button, it's sort of this up and down thing. Okay, first pearl in the, of the game. We need loads. You have uh, two different currencies in the game. And pearls, you need them to upgrade your vehicles. And without them, you can't complete the game. Yeah, there's like a couple of parts that are blocked by ha needing yeah. to have enough pearls to get to the next area. So, yeah, and even if you're like um, the current world record holder, he like used cheat engine to try and like find any way to like skip things. And like, even if you skip like two areas and go to the third one the game will always crash and we think that we think it's due to like the companion you have oh yeah like if you have Paige with you when he's supposed to be like dead on the way to the moon yeah the game will crash well, no, spoiler. Yeah. No. I don't call him Paige his name is Bacon Breath Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the best quote of the game by far. Yeah, honestly, uh, my favorite quote. Yeah, it's a pretty darn good quote. <laughs> you understand not a big converse. I'm wondering how it turns out in French, because that might be fun. <laughs> no idea. This cutscene is long. I think like two and a half minutes or something. Ridiculous. Yeah, we have no money, so we have no shield, so they attack us, and now we need to somehow get money. That's the best character in the game. Woof. <laughs> Secundo is not racist at all. Totally not. No, no. Nah. Do we have time for donations? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we have a $10 donation from uh, Nico Contio. Um, and this Google uh, from Duty Push is an RNG. Have a good time with that. Uh, thanks. Yeah, so basically, he's explaining how we get money. Like, you have to take photos of animals. Because there's like a researcher that's trying to yeah. document like every animal on the entire like planet. And for every picture you take, you get credits. And for every roll you finish, you get a pearl. I can't remember, was it 10 or 20 that you needed? Uh, for what? For the per pearl. Uh, should be closer to 10. Yeah. Yeah. The best feature about this game is inverted controls. <laughs> yeah. Fucking the, horrible. This was really, really, like, made for controllers, yeah. like, for consoles. So the PC port basically just pretends that the mouse is actually, a con like, a control stick. Yeah. And it, it's horrible. And, like, there's really weird bounds, binds as well for everything. Yeah, it's on par with bowling. Yeah. 
Yeah, we got the shield back. Yeah, we got our... Uh, and the funny thing is, you run out of money for the shield, and after this, they don't even, like, ever show up anymore. Nope. Pretending that your power's out. It's just this one part, and then you never have to pay the power again for the entire game. Okay, so now we, um, basically it tells us that we have a mission. So, we need to take a picture of this one first, because it's important. Yeah. You actually, like, the first roll you finish, you get a lens, but you need to have to make pictures later of, yeah. like, things that are further away. You need to have the zoom later on. Yeah, for the story pictures. and everything. Please. That was some pretty good pictures we're gonna take later on in the game. Yep. Some pictures of walls. <laughs> why not? Apparently that, that's evidence. Apparently. Yeah. I'm not sure how that works. That, that's a nice wall you have there. Yeah. Look at these photos we've taken. That wall. Okay. Yeah. Detection isn't the greatest in the world, but yeah. at least it goes fast. So, so we just pick up this end disc, which just explains the mission. I have to go to this island and find out what's going on. He wants a picture of two animals on his island because, I don't know. Because they are like special. I guess they're rare. Yeah, you only see one of them in the entire game, so they're pretty rare. Yeah, that's cool. That is not. Uh, that fight is like not inspired by Zelda at all. Eh, let's not spoil it too much yet. <laughs> oh yeah, that that is actually funny too, because he's talking about without me, this place would fall apart. Yeah. And then as the soon as he's out of the room, the fan breaks. It's like a great quote that's being. Well, the French restream can like mention it, but. It's weird how he can't figure out that he's got to push this. Yeah, he's yeah, he like... He could push it by himself, but... Yeah, yeah he can put his yeah. weight into it. But no, he's basically just looking at random stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, so this is our hovercraft. It's amazing. Not Probably. right now, it's broken, <laughs> but it will be amazing eventually. He honestly could have put his time into trying to fix this thing instead, but yeah. nope. No, he can't fix it. We have to go to this awesome. This is the best place in the game, I think. The Mama Go Garage. Apart from them ripping you off quite badly. You think? <laughs> okay, I have to spend like what? 30, 50, 60. Yeah, like in, 70 in total, pearls. like 60 or 70. Yeah. Cause it starts out cheap, and then it's like, well, you really need this for the story, so we're just going to rip you off quite badly. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Speak of non-racist game. <laughs> so the old world record, he had issues when the um, when he tried to leave this place, it would dock him, like when he left, it would dock him instantly. And he couldn't figure out why, and it's just so easy to figure out. Like when you arrive at this place and you press your mouse key to dock, it will re-dock you when he tries to leave. So I don't have to do anything when I enter this place, it will just automatically dock me. Thank you. So we got our boosters back, so we can actually use the hovercraft. The way it was intended yeah. at some point. It's not broken anymore. Yay. <laughs> Off to adventure, go go. <laughs> and suddenly attack. Well, at least, at least the kids are not going to be hurt now that the shield is up. That's the one good thing about this. Yeah, this is... This is not the last serpent we're gonna see in the world, that's for sure. 
Yeah, those things uh, like to pop up when you're trying to do something. Jesus. Yeah, when you finish the whole something time. important to the store and you have to go to the next place with your hovercraft. You just turned it on. Yeah. It was off. You just turned it on. Take that. Yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, like 10 seconds off. <laughs> Acceptable. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're just gonna ignore that pearl. I don't want it. Yeah. No, the, the car has this one nice feature where things you actually need, it'll pick up automatically. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and skip this cut scene here. These. Okay, thank you. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we'll play later on, but. Yeah. Yeah. It's just fun being able to skip one cutscene in the game. The one thing we can kind of skip to go fast. There's actually one later on by the slaughterhouse that you oh, can yeah. skip completely. <laughs> Damn it. Animal, please. Maybe Jump please. out. Come on. You know you want to. Please. Stop. <sighs> yes. Damn. Okay. You got it. Oh my god. It's in there. Okay, welcome to Black Isle. Uh, like the first dungeon in the game. People call them these places dungeons. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, now he's explaining that, you know, uh, his employer wants these photos, or one photo of these two creatures. Is it explaining about the doms, which is uh, like alien attackers that are uh, like bothering Hillis for like the longest time ever? Yeah, basically the doms is like what you saw at the start of the game, like these things attacking. Yeah. That's doms. So I'm after, way too loud. like the mirror, after the majority of the cutscenes in the game, I just don't press any movement key because some, like most of them, just inverts my movement. So it's like the best design choice I ever made. Yeah. I think it's fine here now. Yeah. Okay, please. Thank you. Nice. Those things can be really hard yeah, to... Yeah, I mean, if you're in the wrong spot, you waste seconds. Yeah. Ridiculous. They fly around quite erotically as well. So they get out of your way. Okay, so Bacon Breath is explaining that he's got a new invention. Called the Jet Boots. <laughs> he's supposed to fly with them, but... Yeah. He's quite heavy. Especially with that, like... Oh, yeah. It's powered by farts. Yeah. He has an infinite supply of farts. He store, yeah, he stores his farts in his pants and he uses them as you know, fuel for the boots. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's fly. This is just like, this is where they reveal like his special attack. So like the NPCs have like special moves they can do. And this is the first one. <laughs> Super. So impressed. Yeah. Okay, please. Yeah. So yeah, most of the dungeons are like you can get there with Jade, but you have to figure out how to get your helper there. <laughs> you so always need your help. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> then the next part is like, oh, you need your helper here, so uh, go fetch, yeah. or find a way to get them there. So I just completed my first roll, so I'm gonna get the zoom. I'm, I'm still also impressed how she gives you that zoom through, like, the internet. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Like, what? Um, so that's his second attack. Uh, it will shoot any enemy up in the air, and you can just um, fling them in any direction. 
Yes, materia. Crystals, I don't really care because I don't need them. So. No. Basically, he's going to send crystals to the bank and they're going to pay like... So you can see the credits right there. Or some units. credits yeah. for everyone. So right here, I'm just ignoring that yeah, Fly. sense over there on the right side. Oh, yeah. Normally, you would go there like Bacon Breath tells you like, oh, look over here. And then, yeah. That. He wants to tell us like what's going on over there, like what we need to do. Yeah. I don't really want to. <laughs> These That's things all. can be very, very annoying. This is like later. the worst AI in the game. These Crowshacks. Um, if you're really unlucky, they will just <laughs> completely avoid you. Like you, you have one left to kill and it just keeps circling around you and is never getting in range. Yeah, and they can, they can even try and softlock the game by grabbing somebody while not grabbing yeah. them and then completely ruining their own hitbox, which is even worse. Uh, I've had that happen on this place. Yeah. It's just instant reset. So yeah, let's pray for that not to happen, because that's like a full softlock, basically. Yeah. Because you just their hitbox like disappears from their body as well, but they're not on like page either or bacon breath, so they're yeah. unhittable. No way. I have no health. So anyway. I'm just gonna ignore most of the enemies here. Speaking of that one. No. So both of the uh, followers or NPCs following you in the game are completely worthless when it comes to combat. It's, they do nothing, pretty much. Come on, move. Thank you. Just playing it safe, killing those enemies, because they can be got, uh, really slow, getting stuck, playing. Uh, just well yeah. um, first one from Christoph Jaeger, who um, gives five dollars, and he says, How can I not donate for during a speedrun of my most favorite game? Good luck on the run, everyone. Go fast and get hype. And we have blocking. a very generous donation of fifty dollars from a Tangong Angong Yani. Wow. And uh, they say, Hey, hey, Chili, I really love bunnies. Good luck on both your runs, throw and have fun. Gee, I wonder who that is. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bunnies. Yeah. 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 Okay. So the impressive thing is, like, Paige can't jump, but he can jump up there, yeah. like, suddenly. Well, he teleports. I guess. Yeah. So I guess he uses his rocket boots or get boots. Yeah. Let's yeah. completely ignore that room. Just much effort, so come on. Yeah, that, I mean, that's gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna tell Baker Breath here to use that tool. Yeah, he just picked up that tool, and he's gonna like knock that fence out. Okay. So there are new strats to this, but I'm gonna go like they're not safe from marathon, so I'm just gonna ignore them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but there are some like new skips I can do but, and there are I mean loads of checkpoints in this game so oh hello thanks oh nice one yeah good to get that there. is rare <laughs> oh, crap. I can uh, I'm actually gonna try and do this quickly you don't really have to push this one all the way but it's pretty hard to hit it and that works So like, after most of the cutscenes in the game, you get teleported to specific locations. So even if I move like as much as possible before the cutscene, it was it will always put me in this place. Yeah, as you could see there, like Paige got grabbed by one of them and pinned down. That can actually like break yeah. and mess up. But it didn't happen now, so that's. Good. Yeah, and you do want to help them because you don't want them to die. That's yeah. That one is really bad. Come on. Run, bacon breath, run. Yeah, it's so slow, man. <laughs> and now we need him Dude. again right away. Okay, where the hell? Come on. What the hell, man? The routing, too good. Pathfinding is so good. 
Okay, last one. So now I'm gonna get pearls for every single roll I finish. So here's one. This is the first one now. Yeah, this is not the only use for the camera. It'll be useful later, but... Yeah, for important story stuff. This is why I need to zoom. I would never be able to take that picture. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Miss Grace of an Ox. <laughs> yeah. First thing first, always picture. If you see something new, take a picture first. You yeah, can kill it later. Even what's coming up at the end of this. Yeah. Police. <laughs> always a picture. So if you're missing one picture, you can waste minutes trying to find an animal you haven't yeah. reached yet. Because they can get rare. There's a couple that show up everywhere, and then there's quite a few rare ones that are specific to areas. Like sometimes, like after you're done a fight or something, and before a cutscene happens, you the game gives you an option to use things. Like I could use that thing on the wall, but nothing happens, so you can't really save any time trying to spam click buttons or anything. Okay, we're actually getting to the end of this place. Okay. Another use for bacon breath here. Yep. If he, what, where is he? Where are you? Dude. Where, where? Oh, oh no. there we go. No rush. <laughs> Only a speed run. Jesus. AI. Okay, if I sprint here, she will stop right at the edge. So I need to wait for Bacon Breath to get over to his platform. Okay, there he goes. That's the jump. There you go. And now Kelsey. So yeah, our exit just got removed. So... Yeah, and this fight is not inspired by a completely different IP. Nope. Well, Paige's special attack kind of is inspired by <laughs> SM64 too, so yeah. So yeah, nice cute two monsters, right? First thing first, picture. Thank you. Oh, ooh, ooh. Jesus. Taking breath is too slow. Also, you got a good look from Semvi, so... True. There... what? Good luck from Semvi. Oh, Semvi. Oh, thanks. The problem with this fight is, like, no matter how many times I hit him, I just can't speed it up. Like, I can hit him, like, twice the amount and nothing happens. No, this is where you can soft long. Okay. Okay, where are you going? Here? <laughs> yeah, really hard attack to dodge right here. So that's like, that's the fastest way you can do this boss. Like if you play this casually, you probably had like two of those phases where he goes up in the air. And conveniently like slimes right in front of us. This is a really long cutscene after I picked this up, so 
You can read donations if you have any. Um, I don't think we have any. No, no donations. No donations yet, so, eh. We so donate prices. more, guys. Donate more. You know, we have prizes doing this. Could you check that? The prizes during this run. Yeah, we have a couple of prizes during this run. And may as well remind you of some. We have a few t-shirts. Uh, the minimum bid for those are $5. And... Carception. One that just says beyond believable. Uh, maybe the Steam game for it. Oh yeah, the Steam game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the Steam get. That's the Steam copy of Younger Than Evil. And it's a, it's a pretty like it's a really good game even casually. Like the first time you see the cutscenes, like the story is really good. Yeah. It's just too bad you can't skip it <laughs> once you've played it a lot. But yeah. still, the story is really good. So. Apart from speedrunning, I don't blame them for making it unskippable because the game kind of loses all its charm without the actual story to it. Almost. So yeah. There are more prizes, by the way. There should be more prizes, apparently. So. I think this cousin is like two and a half minutes. Basically, he's explaining who it is. Like, he works for the resistance. He tells us that the DOMS and the Alpha section. Alpha section is like the. Well, police or whatever, military on this planet that they're working together and we need to find evidence for some reason he he, is, he, he doesn't like his sunglasses here like he takes them off and then they just disappear like he's from his phone and away. Gone. So he gave us a reward for doing all that, which is just amazing. Like, wow, 3,000. Okay. So we're done here. Now we're going, we're going back into the city to um, find the a place called the Iris Den and where the resistance have their like base. Chill out. Yeah, they hang out there. Yeah. No clue how they haven't been found yet, but. Well, it's in the bar, so I don't know. Yeah, true. But yes, the I mean, alpha section don't drink or something? Okay. Yeah, apparently. Like, none of them drink, apparently. Out of the, I don't know how many soldiers they have. The music in the bar is like, there's like one song on repeat. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's not like the best song in the world either, so. Yeah. They sing about propaganda, and that's it. Go, Kuda Bar. And this is the first instance of codes in this game. So this guy here, he's got a code on his table right there that I want. The thing it. No, what? Did I clip up like that? The thing about. Oh, god. Mike, please. So, free pearl. He's borrowing this. Never getting it back. Okay. The thing Pardon. about that code is that he kind of starts to hide it under his paw if you get too close to him. Yeah. So, on casual playthroughs, you might eat, like make a picture out of it or whatever. 
Yeah, so if you if you run up to him, he will immediately cover it. It's like a really hard mini game right there. Yeah. Like even on the hardest difficulty. What because after this you do it for like I think credits or what was it? Yeah. No, oh, you do it to get the code to this base. Yeah, but after that you can keep doing it. Yeah, That's you can just keep doing it and win credits or units. It, it gets a bit faster, but it's like not impressive at all. Not even the highest, like one. Okay, that's another wall done. We should have five now. Which is the amount I need for the next upgrade for the hovercraft. Yeah, so this is their amazing hideout. Well, it works, so... Hot for that. They have a pretty big vault in here, actually. You see it twice. Yeah, so he's explaining that that's the guy who recommended us for the reporter job. And he's explaining what's happening. So, uh, like when something bad happens in like on the planet, um, the alpha sections go in and like rescue like one guy for every ten they or something. Steal. Yeah, they steal. Basically. They steal nine and save one. Yeah. So they basically just start kidnapping people yeah. and stuff. And they're telling us like where they go. So the first place is the Neutrophils factory. And then they go to the old slaughterhouses. And then off to the moon for some reason. Yeah, that's uh, I think the second helper you'll be getting. Yeah. He's, they lost him basically. So. It's called Double Age. Or yeah. Double Troll. <laughs> Yeah, he can be quite bad. Uh, yeah, in some areas he can even be blocking you. So yeah, now they tell us that go to this factory, take pictures, come back. Okay. It's a pills factory, generally, yeah. but then they kind of stopped using it for that. And yeah, just give us a city pass. Yeah, there's like uh, different shapes of passes and, yeah. and, and colors and different doors. Yeah. Oh yeah, now she needs a nickname. Yeah, for, for yeah. So her nickname is Shawnee for the articles. So yeah, and you'll find out why. You know. Which has a specific reason, but um, it'll be, be become clearer as the game progresses, basically. Yeah, screw this place. I'm going to go back to Mama Go Garage and spend our hard-earned pearls. And lose them in a couple of seconds. Yeah, and there's a cutscene here. The one that I skipped at the start oh, yeah. plays anyway. So yeah, the alpha section is supposed to protect here, but then they put that apartment into fire, so that's nice. It is a, like, it, it catches on fire from the attack, and the alpha section does nothing. Well, they, I think they, like, block off parts of the town, actually. Yeah, so they annoy more people with the one fire. Yeah. Okay, here's a second upgrade. It's a cannon. No more cannonless. Thank you. Kappa. <laughs> and we need this cannon for one, <laughs> one reason. <laughs> for the story, anyway. Let's Can't go without it, though. Yeah, so. I mean, we want it on, but just for this part. And then suddenly, one more attack. This is not like a serpent like last time. These are like air like spaceships or whatever and I just don't care I just ignore them completely I do not I don't have to destroy a single one 
But I need to destroy these. These are like guard, flying guard bots. And if they catch me, they will grab me and like put me uh, in like one area I don't want to be in. Yeah. Dude. And this one right here can be a huge troll because he goes straight through the world. Like there you go. Yeah, so it's the alpha section trying to cover off an area that's mm. completely abandoned. Yeah. N nice going there, guys. Oh no. Nice RNG right there. Oh my god, stop. So these strikes, those strikes, they they are random where they land. Yeah, they were pretty bad. Yeah. Straight in your that way. That was horrible. <laughs> now I just need to wait for this huge gate to open. No rush. Please. Oh, hello. hello. Thank you. Okay. Welcome to the Nutripills factory. This is how you hack in the game. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> this is like super hack elite level right there. And now you wait. Um, you get an email with the code basically. Okay, I should get an email. There we go. Yep, there we go. So that's okay. why that's why I said press tab to read because in English that thing yeah. in the bottom right says like it constantly flashes press tab to yeah, read. Yeah, because you you're not gonna freaking read all the <laughs> emails. They're super useless. Most of them are anyway. Okay, please come on. Yes, thank you. Like most of them tell you stuff you've already been discussing yeah. anyway. And Bacon Breath's like, okay, we should be, we, we should take it easy, like, it's not safe. She's like, it's fine. We'll be fine, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Well, honestly, like, a pig is gonna turn some heads. If it, there's, like, a pig roaming around the facility. By the way, these rats, I hate these rats. They hurt like hell. Yeah. They remove, like, one, one whole heart. Every attack they do, it's ridiculous. I have to wait for Paige right there. I can't go immediately behind the crate because he will run on the other side back, like from yeah, where we came running, from. The running for Paige is like. Because <laughs> the pathfinding is like horrific. Awful. He's like, I don't know where to go. <laughs> yeah, some insanely hard puzzle. Yeah, you can do it, come on. <laughs> No, two cutscenes. That picture we saw of like a monster they call like a spirit eater, this is where he roams. And Bacon Breath is worried. He's like, we should go back to the lighthouse. Should I know? So to trigger this second cutscene, I, need to, I just need to spin my camera around and press E, and that's it. And it's just it's like the hardest thing you have to do in the game. Yeah, we... I like how he repairs this thing, it's pretty yeah, amazing. He's, he's like dropping all kinds of stuff behind and he's like, I don't need this. Then suddenly he's like, oh wait, I need a fuse. Okay. He, he can totally see that from there as well. Yeah, it's it's pretty like he's looking at the mechanical part and he's like, well, I need the electrical parts. He's the best mechanic. Yeah. Uh, he's already fixed it, look. Yeah. Just needs a few. And now he's like, I'm done. So I'm, he's going to follow me now. Welcome to one of the bugs in the game. There you go. Hi. Nice invisible wall there. Yeah, like you open the door, but the, it's still blocking me. Like, same here. There you go. Pretty amazing. Some hard puzzle. I guess they didn't expect you to go fast. <laughs> Probably not. So this is something, you, I mean, this is just a side thing I do because I need this pearl here. If I'm one pearl off, it's just horrible. Yeah, you need to like find okay, animals to fix it. Yeah, so. thanks. 
when I try to take this picture, Paige likes to just wave and smile at me like I'm <laughs> taking his picture again. He's just blocking my okay. awesome picture. There are like loads of rats, but they like there's one that can hurt you, I think. It wants okay. to scare you. Yeah, now I hate these enemies because Paige can ruin everything. If he attacks one of these, if he attacks one of these, he will disrupt the order of which they attack me. So if I attack the one like that one and he would hit it, it would just activate a different one and I would get hit. We mm. tried to attack the wall, but apart from that, he's been pretty good. Oh, wow, or actually, not. Kind of helped, almost. Speaking a bit too. He's not doing any damage, he's just pushing yeah. them. He's just trying to hit the wall. <laughs> yeah, the dialogue is pretty good, but... I mean, it's nice for the French restream. Yeah. <laughs> they have really fun ba dialogue. Yeah, they. I'm. I'll try and explain what's going on. Come on, yeah. press. For as far as my memory If I stand goes. like, okay, I will try it next time. But if I stand too close to like, uh, uh, like a set of doors, when it close, uh, she will like do the damage animation and everything, but she won't take any damage. <laughs> Best coding. It makes so much sense. Speaking Hello. of the French restream, by the way, um, if you are a French listener and you want to listen to commentary in French instead of listening to my stupid nothing English voice, you can go along to the Twitch channel of Hamildal. I think that's Hamildal, and that's spelled H H E I M D A L L. That's for the yellow stream. So Just go along there, voice. and our French friends will be happy to commentate for you. Okay, so I need to take a picture of that or they won't help me hack this thing. Thank you. And here's the like... It's called the gyro disc launcher in English. It's just a glove and it allows me to like when I aim with my camera it will allow me to launch these discs so I can start off by freeing double H before he dies now long cutscene Vous êtes le gars du réseau C'est vous, double H Co... Co... n'est pas... Le réseau Iris. Basically, this machine he was in, it scrambles your brain, so he has, like, really hard time figuring out who he is and what's going on. Alors, c'est bien vous, double H Yeah, this is, uh, double H. Double H. Yeah, best NPC in the game. <laughs> He's going to be with us for a while. So like after this cutscene, if I hold like any movement key, it will invert it immediately. So if I hold forward, she will run backwards. Thank you. Yeah, you forgot everything but his army training. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. And that useful. But then forgets that the floor ends. Yeah, so right here is just hanging because you forgot how to think properly. He's like, I'll be fine. Bye bye. Okay, so we're back in his room here with the elevator, and there's a boss fight. And I'm going to try and do the boss fight in the non-intended way. It saves like 30 seconds. And bacon breath is like, I'm gonna attack. Oh wait, never mind. Please, okay. 
So normally when you hit him in the eye, he would go like up on these ventilation things right here. But I'm just skipping that completely. And yeah, this boss is pretty darn hard to figure out the first time casually. Yeah. It's really weird. Like it's like, oh you found this new thing, now figure out how to use it. And he's dead. And it's dead. Nice, they only went up once, that's pretty damn nice actually. We have a new donation of $5 from Air Christopher Sin. Uh, no comments, but thank you very much for your donation. Basically he's saying that, okay, good thing you saved me or I would have been smoked ham by now. And she replies with, stop, you're making me hungry. Oh. I don't even know. Eating your friends while not getting food for like way too long. Please, Chan, please. Yeah, I need. There are two fuses right here that I need. These things are horrible too, by the way. These are like the most horrible things ever. Yeah, just it, decide not to die randomly. It gets even that. better when your NPC is blocking the path, like yeah, exactly, right there. Just decide that they're not far enough. To Nice. Okay. okay, so he dropped the key I need for the fuses, so I'm gonna get health upgrade. Thank you. So I, I need to press this switch over here. But, yeah. More. Let's, yeah. let's wait a little bit for that one. I didn't even want to press that switch here. I mean, they instantly explode if you do this. Like, throw one into the extra and into another one, but the last one I had to try and kill him normally. I'm afraid that it'll mm. die on the wall sometime in the near future. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So if I spam like my use key too quickly on this fuse, she will grab it and then immediately put it back again. But yeah, I like that. that. Thanks. I have like no time at all to grab it. Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah. What? You have like not even half a second to grab that one. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, this is like on a timer, you turn it off. Yeah. Right? Because yeah, of the putting back, you barely have enough time to make it. By the way, there should be more prizes on the track. They, they they were added like yesterday or something. There we go. Right here, I can tell Paige to press that elevator button, but he won't do it. Like if I try and do it, nothing happens. You can't really save time. Now he's like, okay, yeah, it's working, but it won't hold for long. Please. Okay, go. And I can press this about five, six times because I like to wait. And luckily for us, the elevator managed to get up all the way to this floor before it broke down. Now we get another M disc because yeah. you don't need to look at this M disc. It's just if you want to, you can look at it. Really? 
Thank you. As normally, you would have to use Paige, your companion, to open this door. Oh, hello, bad position. Yeah. Did you kill yours? Yeah, good job. Cool. Ah. If I'm quick enough, I can actually not get this cutscene. But it will play when I get back. When I get back to his room, but since Paige is gone, she will be like speaking or talking to herself. Bye bye, breaking breath. Oh no. Can you um, yeah, show them um, bringing the shirts? Because they, they should be in the prizes. Yeah. Um, yeah, it should be on the track. Yeah. More hard puzzle. <laughs> so hard. Yeah, these consoles, like the one on the left, they're like save. That's like the only way you can save, but there are checkpoints in the game, so it doesn't really matter. So now he's telling us it's getting dangerous up ahead because there are guards and rats that can hit me. Yeah, please, no hit. Oh shit. So yeah, RNG we can uh, show off a couple of like the prizes for this run. So uh, if you watch the webcam, they'll show up in about a couple of seconds. It's a, not the black one, by the way. Not the black one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's two. Throw that in the corner. The prizes are in the bag, and then there's nothing. Okay, so scrub that. Uh, no, the other one. one. Yeah. That's. So uh, that says keep, keep calm, calm and love, love bunnies. bunnies. Yeah, that's from Bully. <laughs> so yeah, there's that one. Yeah. And then there's the one. The next one. From Beyond Good and Evil. And that's the dog from. Uh, yeah, that's Jade, our main Jade character. Jade dog. Yeah. So, that's a cool one. What? <laughs> no, it's just sleeping. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Hello, garden. Bye, garden. So, the armor that Double Age got on him is... They can resist lasers. But not fire. So I'm not sure what's up with that. And now he's telling us that, you know, if you have to, just hit the tank on their back. Like what I just did before he told us that we could do it. Bye bye. Oh, hello. Someone woke up. So as long as I'm rolling, the guards just can't see me. Like I can roll past, like run right in front of their vision. And, like there's nothing there. Come on. I need to take this picture. This is evidence for the story. So that guard, he can clearly see me, but if I roll, he is. Yeah, I'm not there. No rats. Okay, there's a guard right here, so I'm gonna activate this. And hopefully move. Yes. Sometimes he will react to that and like just stay in place.
Okay, let's see if I can remember this. So these are the Yet Boots that Bacon Breath had. And they have two codes underneath. One on each shoe. And I need to remember one of them for like the whole game. Okay. Not laser me. Oh okay. just laser me then fine. I need to hit his garden because I need to go. That's like he just pushes up up to the next floor here. So I need to knock him out. You've seen nothing, go away. Okay, we have uh, two new donations that have just come through. Um, first one from Jasper Van. Um, Jasper. Oh, just just Jasper doing that. Set. Okay. Um, he says uh, beyond good and evil hype. Let's hope one of those cool t-shirts, Puss and Chatters, as a Dutch game. And the second one, which is also $5, um, from Andreas. And there's no comment attached to that. There. Even if, like, if I alert the guards here, they can't do anything. Like, full alert, they try and hit me and just can't do. So on like the Xbox HD remake yeah. that they released, if you walk on this ledge here, you can walk straight, like you just walk off this ledge, go out of bounds. There are like several out of bounds on consoles, like the older versions. They have no use whatsoever because normally you just go out of bounds and you fall through the world and that's it. You know, is to yeah. fall. The donor information is like my my uh, thing that comes from PayPal. That's my phone name on PayPal. Nice iPhone, thank you. Because it could say anonymous as well. Yeah. 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 Okay, this shortcut scene. In, in the next room, there's a crazy strat I came up with that I'm never going to use on a marathon. Uh, you can easily reset the room, but it will waste so much time. Yeah, alpha section and doms, totally not related <laughs> at all. So what I can do is I, if I, I can hit the guard on the right like really quickly, and the one on the left won't spot me, and then go to to the right one and try and help him, so I can knock both of them out. But that's I. You can't. I could fast. Like they're pretty dumb. They, they can see fairly, fairly well, they can't hear a single damn, unless they hear one of their buddies being I think hit. there are, I think there are like two guards in the game that are like, just actually good at their job, pretty yeah. much. Like, the only thing they'll hear is if one of their friends gets hit. That guy woke up, okay, cool. Hello. So I have a crazy strat here. They just segmented strats I would never use in a marathon. So. Oh, hello. Oh god. I'm so dead now. Please oh, don't hit me. Real. Yeah. Yeah. One hit from a guard drain uh, removes two hearts. Plus the lasers basically means instant death. I don't think. Yeah, and then you have the yeah, grenades. Oh, he's trying pretty hard. Yeah. I guess I have to play it safe then. Boring. Yes. Thank you. The camera in this game. Oh, fucking hell. Horrible. It's like when you're behind cover and stuff, like going backwards and forwards with a mouse uh, increases or lowers the height of your camera. So even if you don't want to. Yeah, hello. Yeah, like oh, most yeah. of the stuff in this game is bound to left mouse click. Yeah. Like you use and everything. It's really weird. Please don't fly. Thank you. 
Yeah. I'll just exit this place. Screw yeah. Exiting zones will reset their aggro, so. God, that guard. Okay. That guard. I, I can't run up. Like, if I run up to the, like where I'm standing now, yeah, he, will, he will actually hear me. It's like one of the few that can hear me. Okay, super hacking. Dude. The hacks are real. Yeah. So amazing. Yeah, the worst thing about that is you need the email before the code actually works. Mm -hmm. So you can't just like remember them because you need to like they're random. open the email anyway. Oh, and they're random too. Yeah, every run they're random, so you can't like note them down or anything. So yeah, here's the it's a pretty long cutscene. They show that Bacon Breath is on his way to the slaughterhouse, and this is where we have the second boss, which is not really a boss fight. You can like complete in like 15 seconds. Yeah. So much for bosses in this game. It's just about timing, that's it. Oh. And double H is actually useful here. Yeah. It, it might be a bit harder on controller to aim for it though. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm not using controller. Yeah, exactly. On GameCube it's a tad harder to aim it, but still, like, it's really doable. Yeah, so there's clearly no, you know, they're not working together. You can see it in space. Nah, it just gets controlled all of a sudden. Yeah, now he gets killed. Basically, he tells that's his boss. Like, yeah, boss or emperor or whatever, and he tells them that yeah, we neutralized all the intruders, and you're standing down there like watching them. Yeah. And it, then he he says like, oh, that I'll take care of that myself. Yeah, and then he dies. And it's like, no, you're not. You're useless to me now. You're dead. Okay, yeah. so that uh, emperor thing just shot himself, tried to hit us. And now he's going to grab random stuff from this room. So we actually have a boss fight. So the first part of this fight is easy. You go one of the legs you hit that leg twice that's it because you need to hit one leg twice for double h to appear and you need him to complete the fight yeah the, the idea is that you hit both legs once yeah. but the detection is so weird that you can just hit both twice and it'll still fall the hell down or there you go. at least trigger that one awesome entrance yeah. he's like hey what's this thing Let's hit it with the hit. So I need to command him. Like I tell him to hit it, and before he hits it, I hit it. If he hits it before I hit it, uh, nothing will happen. Yeah, boss fight done. Hard. Hardest boss. Fight. Mm. And convenience. Oh yeah, Carlson and Peters. Carlson and Peters is actually a manual yeah. in the game, like in the fiction, yeah, it's, the lore. It's, it's his army manual or something yeah. like that. And he's like quoting lines from that. Like, stick, like sticking together and like, he says like Carlson and Peters page something. It's, he refers to the manual. Yeah, like the, the section, page, that kind of stuff. Not as in, like, not as in page as in the pig, but as in, like, place in the book. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, more health. I need this. The last boss in the game is annoying. If you play this game, you probably hate the last boss in this game. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I don't blame you. Well, on controller, I just seriously was like i'll just hold my controller upside down <laughs> yeah works. that works actually. it works i would try that with a keyboard but it feels weird yeah yeah with keyboard it's a bit harder but <laughs> i just held my controller upside down 
It was like, well, this works a lot better. Okay, so we're actually done here now. So we're gonna go all the way down to our vehicle, and then we're going to grab the grab the pearl from the spirit reaper that we killed earlier, and then we can leave. And now he's asking us if Paige Bacon Breath is a member of the Iris, and we don't know. Maybe. Yeah, that's a good question, actually. Yeah, that's the end disc he gave us. Good timing for that one, <laughs> as well. Just before he disappeared. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh yeah, you should have this. By the way, I have an M disc. I, I totally don't have a secret life or anything. And he just happened to stumble upon his yet boots. That's pretty amazing. Okay, so this is like this enemy looks different, but it's the exact same horrible AI. Yeah. I totally forgot that it shows it up here. So like, why don't you so take him before being the shield? But that's because of death then. Being annoying? Yes, thank you. Okay. So. Okay. So when he breaks that. Um, break that gate right there uh, I run forwards and be before like right before it switches the camera I press backwards and roll because it inverts the controls so it allows me to roll into the room now it's just to explain that you know yeah he doesn't feel well at all we need to help him get him back to the iris place network secret base oh, yeah. in the bar this place to have a secret place ever but i mean we have plenty of time so i'll just go grab that pearl so. <laughs> yeah. uh, i just want to annoy him a bit because he's annoying to me there you go move your ass slow down screw you Hey, 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 yeah. Hold on. Hey, call some Peters. Oh, God, yeah, that one code thing in the game from the website. Why? For 100%. Like, yeah. you have to grab the code off the website and whatever mm. from the M discs. That was horrible. <laughs> I've never done 100%, but 100% is like, it's been the most popular category of this game. I was like, a hell of a trying to pick up everything. I think any percent is more than enough, like 48 yeah. minutes of cutscenes, I think that's <laughs> acceptable. Barely that's acceptable. <laughs> also, it's like so nice how they keep putting the timer in the middle of your screen like yeah you every time really you, yeah. know that you have more so, and more like, than enough time you <laughs> every time you enter a new area it's like this they, is how they much started time at 4 30 it's now three minutes and we're basically done there we go there we go <laughs> now we wait we a grand total of 130 with a detour of 4 30. Nah, i would i'm amazed if you can't make that timer yeah that, that one was like Pretty darn simple. I think this is so convenient. He's like, yeah. Dunk. let's just break the gate and fall exactly where I need to fall. Yeah. So now they're helping him. They're going to give him like antidote for this. And then they tell us that he will be fine. It will take him weeks to recover. Oh yeah. Mm. Week. It'll take a couple of weeks to uh, recover from this. So that thing on his neck is, you know, that's like a Dom's thing. Infection. Infection thing. That's gone now. Yep. He's fine. In a couple of weeks. He'll take like a month, but he'll be back up to strength. Long speed run. Yeah, okay, so now they're like, you need to go to the slaughterhouse. 
Yeah, so that's the second point in the chain of the story. And if you go to any of these areas with the wrong MPC, it will crash. They don't like you very much. Like, it's annoying. So the people of Hillis is gave us pearls. They were like, you might need these more than we do. Yeah. And also, yeah, a few weeks have passed since we passed through the door. Yeah, <laughs> the wormhole or something. I don't know. Yeah. Like, damn. Yeah. Damn. It's been that six door weeks. Is slow. Okay, so I'm gonna go to this guy here. He's doesn't feel too well. And he's gonna talk to him, and he's going to give us this code. Thank you. Okay, so we need more pearls. And we're going to find two down here. Quite cheap, honestly, for yeah. like... Considering how much like you get out of them, and how much credit you get over the game, they're quite... Darn cheap. Yeah. Pretty obvious later on when you go to the shop, so... Another pearl, and I'm going to take the last picture here. So I put down this item which restores my health. If I put it down here, we have like these roaches or whatever they are. Yeah. Okay. Termites, apparently. Thank you. Yeah. Now we're gonna go do like this horrible part with the alpha sections to get three pearls. That's it. This car right here can be annoying, so let's see. Okay. Yeah, that didn't even hit, cool. The snipe is real. Not even close. Okay. So we have to pass two guards, and now we need to use some weird secure lasers. We got one pearl, amazing. Okay, two more, and now we just have to leave this place without being noticed. Easy. Like you can get hit by the guards coming up, so that's the reason I go like all the way around. Oh, hello. Thank you. Yeah, this chase is uh, quite epic Hollywood-style explosions that like happen randomly because why not? 
then you just drop down into the city and there's suddenly no guards anymore. No, they just stop like, following me. Like, yeah, they're like, and then this guard is totally uninformed of your current status of being like a rebel. Because you, okay. you t totally don't have like specific clothes or anything. Okay, the police didn't show up. That's good. Yeah, if you fire, like if you hit any vehicle here, the cops will come up and like you. steal your credits. It's, and yeah. stealing the credits isn't even bad, but they're slow as hell about it. Yeah, it's happened in one run, I think. I normally do it for fun. Oh yeah, you, you shot like for fun and then yeah. shot somebody in the city. Yeah. And I managed to hit like before, like I didn't manage to leave in the area before it hit. Yeah, before so. they caught you. Yeah, because you shot him like in the beginning of the yeah. area. Yeah, that was so bad. That was pretty uh, bad. Yeah, well, like lost 25 seconds or something. It's ridiculous. So yeah, the third upgrade is the ability to make our hovercraft jump. Because why not? Now we can go to the slaughterhouse. And the only way to enter the slaughterhouse is by doing a race. Because for some reason there's a... They're racing like in the old slaughterhouse. And there's like one entrance. Like the best bug in the game is this one. Like whenever you use the boost, it locks your camera. So if I do this, it will just keep going until I stop boosting. I have no idea why. Okay, let's go. Okay, the race. Yeah, I hate this entrance. Yeah, this entrance is like freaking horrible because it's really easy to miss. Like yeah. the first time I was trying this, like on the casual playthrough, I couldn't even find the damn exit the first time. I finished the race and then I was like, wait, where is it supposed to be? I'm just gonna play safe here, wait for the yeah, other for the contestant. Pass by. Yeah, because they, like, like, they can hit me. And like, it's, if you it's race terrific. faster, you're not gonna see it on the side. Yeah. It's really not obvious at all. And also, if I move my camera here where I exit, it will actually get stuck like sideways, so I can't see where I'm going. So here's, yeah, here's a just, you know, giant robot fighter thing to run on. That is a like a security robot of the alpha sections. Obviously, we're not allowed here, so. It's actually coming up is like the only cutscene you can skip. Like you never have to yeah, watch it. Apart from the end discs. Yeah. Which are basically cutscenes but then you can like scroll them as you want. Yeah. It's basically text boxes what they are behind it. We're at the small house. Yeah, so if you if you're in third person here on this bridge, it will play cutscene. But just by going into like this first person mode, it will just not play. And that, that's pretty nice. Please. Yeah, this is really hard because you need that box at the end. But there's like a load of traps in between. It's actually way harder to get the box there to go in the direction you want it to go. It's super hard. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Because if it blows up, you have to go fetch another one. And there's yeah. like the last one, it's actually in the way of where you want to go. There are like three, I think, where you end, like where you start. Yeah, there we go. Okay, made it. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, now it's uh, back to more walking around. Yeah, we need to open this gate here. We can enter the place. One more. Thank you. This last one is oh. really pushing it. Mm. Someone okay. wants to fight. Okay. Yeah, I got it. The last one has like a really delayed spawn. 
So sometimes you don't get it with the super attack. So. Yeah, and he's just annoying. And double age just goes for it and tries to kill him. Happy what? Oh, holy! No way. Okay. Thank you, Svenna. <laughs> Svenna. Who informed Svenna? Did I do that myself? Or I have to repair him. I might have told Svenna. I don't know. But yeah, thanks everyone. This part is like really hard. Just with the fans blowing. Okay. And just stuck. Like it's so easy to get stuck in this place. Oh, by the way, for you guys, it's my birthday. It's an informed the chat, so they oh. went wild. <laughs> Happy so, birthday! Thank you. Nice. Okay. So we're at the entrance now and there's like to get a code you need to get like a mail and like to exit this place there's a console on the other side here right there and if I take a picture of it now they will basically tell me that you know you need to grab like take more photos we need more evidence but if I take this photo now and um, I will already have the mail that I need with the code when yeah, I exit exactly. the place. So you don't have to wait for the code? Yeah, like, if I don't... It, it'll store it and wait yeah. for it anyway. Because there's like a timer or something. So if I don't take it now, it will take like 25 seconds at least to show up. Because so. they have to decode it and whatever. And it takes like 15 to 20 seconds to decode that thing. Yeah, and it needs like... It needs to send you like... Mm, more emails or more mails before that yeah so you basically just want to get as much delay out of the way as possible before so just hit that so we can go on the other side so this slaughterhouse is uh, it's uh, in three parts yeah this is really segmented the uh, yeah it's a huge place and it's like the worst Oh yeah, 15 to 20 sec seconds to flash a you got message. Okay. Please push it. Oh, double H is doing some hard work. Okay. So we're in, Double H, he needs to wait patiently. And we need to destroy his robot. So I can't hit the robot when the shield is up, like you can't do anything. And it only, only removes the shield when they attack you, so. Right here I need to pick up, this is a repair, double repair for the hovercraft and Another vehicle later on, and then a health upgrade for vehicles, because I really need them. Come on, there you go. I'm just waiting, so I, I need double. I need double H to just follow me, so we can enter this area. No, the the codes are random every time. Yeah. Fiat. Okay. That's it. Please stop pushing it. Okay, right here, I need to wait for double age. Okay. If I don't wait, if I just run down, like, all the way over here, he will get stuck by the huge crate. You have to go back. For some reason, my UI screws up here. I don't know why. Don't hit me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, more guard bots. Favorite enemy. Okay, 
So I'm gonna grab this pearl and then the key. This, I actually already have one of these keys right here. Uh, a triangular green one. But I need this, I need to give this to my companion. Come on. Thank you. So, I don't know why, but WH, he likes to go, like, almost all the way, and then he's turn. So I have to command him twice. So this is the, we're almost done with the first part, which is the first photo we have to take. We're just going around in a circle. So. Also, what's great about this is his suit apparently like protects him from lasers, but his face is totally fine to run yeah, through. Yeah, like, weird. I don't know. Laser. He's got a helmet, so I don't know why he's not using it. Okay, so here's the first photo we have to take. Play a bit safe, I think. I'm gonna take a photo right there of the wall. It's like the best photo. That is evidence, by the way, apparently. Okay. So double H is for some reason it's really slow here. I don't know why. If you feel like if you feel like we get a running start here. Which is I don't know why, but it's nice. So I mean, I'm actually done in this first place now. I just need to go back to my hovercraft and go to the next place. And of course, like, your companions are slow. Really slow. There we go. Okay, now I can go. So, for the next place, you would normally use a crate, but I just go into this searchlight here and we'll spawn these mines or torpedoes. And I can just trick one of them to blow that one up. It's fine. Hello, mines. I like you. I really like you. So this is the second place in the slaughterhouse, and by far the worst. Double H, please don't block me. <clears throat> this is a really good example of like the game teleporting me after a cutscene. If I roll like this, it will put me on the other side every single time. Yeah, that's a weird pattern. I'll just wait. Hmm. The game just needs a short cutscene to show that um, the door open. Donnie. Uh, there's no frame dropping, so it's probably gonna be your connection. Try and like reboot your router or whatever. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. These guys are on alert. This is this is like one of the worst rooms, to be honest. Um, okay. So if I go into a shadow right there, that guard would actually spot me. <laughs> Makes no sense. Okay. So I need this fuse right here. 
This is why I pushed that no, box so I can't you. get up from here. Okay, I'm gonna try. There's a new strat for this. That's it's pretty risky, but oh my gosh! Okay. What way are we going? Whoa, hello. Okay. Fine, okay. Let's go with that. Try that again. It's just the with the camera changing, it's yeah, just it's annoying. Like just messing up. It ruins my controls completely. Basically, be game being game. Okay, there we go. It's there we go. A bit better. Okay. So now I need to figure out where this guy's looking. Wrong way. Okay. So old strats, you would actually go around the guards in the first room and then uh, hit that guard I just passed. Okay. So now I have a really annoying room coming up. This room can actually kill you very easily. And I want double H here. It's actually useful. I'm gonna have, have a few ways with these enemies attack me and I'm trying to be in the right position but if if I'm charging up and I see one of them trying to hit me I can just use the attack from the double H and it will stun them. Which is why like if I go into this room too quickly he won't like follow me when be stuck in the corridor. Oh, hello. Okay. So there's a guard here coming up that has a really weird AI. Like if I follow him like this, he will turn to the right. And if I don't follow him, he will turn to the left. So we're actually almost done with the second part now. Nice. Like, I really don't like the slaughterhouse. No, it's like one of the worst parts of the game, honestly. Oh. Like, it's, it's very long Please turn. and very tedious to do because of all the damn guards and everything. Yeah, so many guards. Yeah, and they're all like tediously scripted as well. So I'm gonna do a... Hopefully do this right here, I think. Nope, never mind. I can alert these guards and it will make them reset their pattern. So but I can yeah. hit this guy immediately. Yeah, immediately, but yeah. no such luck. Yeah. Yeah, the they should have heard me, but. Yeah, he yeah. does, he does. There. I mean, I ran. They didn't oh, that me. part, yeah. He's gonna kick. No, okay. Sometimes he will kick the guard. Okay, so that's the second picture done. And now we just have to leave and go to the next one with the hovercraft. And Double H is just chilling here, He's just waiting for us. It's working hard. Not that hard, honestly. I can extend that much. If he knows it. And all the mines we spawned because why not? I think the last one might be the longest one. I'm not really sure. It feels like the longest one. Okay. 
Okay, so on the right there, there's like a laser grid. Yeah, with, like, that's where you exit this area. So if you could somehow go through the grid or disable it or something, you could just go down, take the picture, and be done. Yeah, so this room right here, there's always 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 the same pattern pattern on these guards so I can use the same route for this sometimes pretty randomly okay they can spot me <laughs> sometimes you um, the FPS in this room can just completely die from the fog or the smoke effect even though you haven't you haven't changed any settings or anything, you can still like kill your FPS. Uh, apparently, somebody's gonna try and find the skip for you. Ah, thanks. <laughs> I need more dreaming. skips. Keep yeah. on dreaming. Well, those lasers are very consistent. Yeah, that's like the best security and laser grid. Oh, but ever. like the power's off, but the lasers are working. Yeah, obviously, it makes like, sense. It's gotta work. Like a backup generator, I don't know. Yeah, just for the laser stuff. Be best way ever. And we have a $3 donation from an anonymous donor. Um, happy birthday, Asper. Thought I might drop some dollars to you since there's no one in the room right now. Well, there's five of us, so... Yeah. Actually, I think this might be... Twitch logic. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, thank you, <laughs> anonymous. I think this might be the worst room, and it's only because of the guard that's patrolling on the right side. I need to do this room twice. Because I need a pearl that's in the room straight ahead, and this guard is just trolling me now. Please. These guards are just. Like I hate that guard so much. Like, I need yeah. this pearl. Basically, the, that guard, he can like look straight ahead. <laughs> Look to the right or to the left, like straight into the wall. I don't know if grenades would be a good thing because they hear him, so they'd still trigger. But yeah, you can see there's a laser up on the left, so if you get spotted, you're instantly dead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's looking leftish this time. I don't know. But if I bump into him, you know, that will spot me as well, so I need to take it a bit slow. Okay, this is like one of these timed things where we disable the electricity again. This time we have like grenades and lasers in our way. Okay. Not much left of this place now. We can actually leave the slaughterhouse. There's a guard up on the left. I just keep rolling so he won't hear me. Bye bye. Those are like special guards. They have a different armor on them. They're like elite guards or something. I'm at home. Camera. Okay. This is the laser grid yes. from earlier, so I just need to take this picture. And this is there. this picture is pretty amazing. It's like another one of those pictures of a wall. That kind of triggers what's not supposed to trigger, basically. If you aim at it, like, at the, the slightest yeah. and you're zoomed in correctly, it's just like, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I should be able to, like, there, yeah. that trigger. So that is evidence. 
It just has to be like where you're watching and zoomed in correctly, and it's like, yeah, that works. And we can finally leave this place. And I died, so I probably don't have the mail. I've actually died bef once before in a run and I still had the mail, so I think it d depends like on where you die in the slaughterhouse. Yeah, I have the... okay. That's fine. Mm. Wait, is that... I need to check. That's... yeah, it must be that one. Okay. I think if you die like after like half the second part, you're fine. If you die before that, then, yeah, you don't have it. Now for the fun part. So at the start of the game, we had these things called Dom Serpents. And there's another one coming right now. And this yeah. one has like the worst pattern in the game. Yeah, probably. The best way is to stand still and just attack him. I'm just gonna take damage here, but this pattern is horrible, so I might as well do this. Please die. Oh my god. Okay. As long as he dies inside this area now, it's fine. Because if I'm in like outside a laser, uh, the camera is like forced on the camera or on the pearl, so it's really annoying trying to get over the laser. Okay, so I'm gonna go get one more pearl and then we're going back to this iris place and more pearls. Well, at least they're trying to put out fires now that they created more of them. Yeah. Well, people are, they're, I mean, they're starting to complain, so they have to do something. What? I never knew about this place. Yeah, that's the pearl right there. That's nice. Six. So, I'm still wondering what the Alpha section is actually doing with the pearls, because they have more of them in the <laughs> spaceships. If I if I enter this place like uh, in like first person mode, the camera goes third person, but I can't see the hovercraft, so I can't see where I'm going. Okay, we're back. More cutscenes. Peach is not dead. He's just sleeping very, very long. <laughs> He's resting. He, I mean, he, he was running about so much, he just got so tired he had to sleep. <laughs> oh. For weeks. I mean, the, yeah, the... Plus whatever we add after. Uh, I mean, the guy's name again. Oh, double age. Double age, like, yeah. Back I mean, that's a couple of weeks, and then we still have to add the rest of the time we've been running around. And by the way, to sleep, man. yeah, that's the major thing uh, of, of the city. I'm an admin. Oh, well. I'm, I've apparently been promoted to admin. Oh, wow. That's great. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we got a new uh, star ca card now. Oh, yeah. That's the actual mayor of the town, yeah. so yeah, just as a heads up, because it's probably not going to be clear out of like the French <laughs> <Yeah>. speaking and uh, <laughs> subtitles. 
So she's the one who's actually been giving us the codes this whole time. All the codes we get. It's like, we're not hacking, we're just asking the mayor. And she's under surveillance, so I'm not sure how she does it. So now, now they speak to the chief, their chief, and that's Bacon Birth. Yes, yeah, so they, she's basically been working behind his back for him. <laughs> best, best plot twist ever. So yeah, he's telling us that they took him to the moon. Well, that, that's quite a strong, like, <laughs> transceiver, honestly. Yeah. And they actually, she, like, the major asked, like, why are you using a radio? Yeah, because we, like, don't want them to know what we're talking about. Like, okay, that makes sense. As if you can't, like, yeah. <laughs> catch radio out of thin air. That makes no sense at all. Game logic. <laughs> Best thing ever. Yeah, so now we need to go to the moon. <laughs> and apparently, according to... <laughs> apparently, according to Paige, he's got a spaceship. Probably not. So now they're like, yeah, you find the spaceship and you go to the moon. Oh, okay, easy. Swena killed PG-13, yeah he did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should repeat that over a microphone. Probably not. Uh, but let me just keep that there. I probably don't even want to know, honestly. I mean, the reason we're going to the moon is because they have like this huge transmitter that transmits all the propaganda in the city. And uh... We want to use like everything we've gathered so far, like all the reports and everything, yeah, to like transmit our yeah, report like on their yeah. technology. <laughs> but we need loads of pearls. So we're gonna go to Ming Zhu's shop. Hold on. Try find Joker. Uh, which, like, no if it doesn't matter if you have Page or Double Age with you, they will always, always remind you of this shop because there's a pearl detector, and they will never shut up about the pearl detector until you buy it. So I'm gonna buy all the pearls here, and I'm going to buy this, which is a. Upgrades my super attack, the charge attack, and it's just ridiculous. It's so good, especially in the last boss fight. And now we're gonna use the new key card to get more pearls. No rush. This place is like a bit bigger and a few more guards than last time. But we get loads of pearls from doing this. I'm not sure if Paige designed that spaceship, but if he did, he's a moron. Because to actually use the spaceship, you need something called flight stabilizers, and you need two of them. Which is why we need all these pearls, because you need to buy one from the Mamago garage. And you can't buy it until you've actually completed the uh, slaughterhouse. Oh, yeah. God. So, but there's a pretty cool bug in the game where you can, you can give, like, a food item to a companion and when he does the eating animation you can go back in the inventory and like put it back into your inventory so it will it will never consume it but it will still get health back so basically you're duping items at that point yeah there's two versions of it so i wanted to use that type of like bug in the game to dupe 
like the uh, pearls that you need. No, I actually dupe the uh, stabilizer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you can access the um, the cave with the spaceship early in the game. Yeah, yeah. So if I could dupe that item, I could just skip like thirty. I mean, maybe an hour of gameplay or something. Yeah, yeah. So I'm actually, if I time this correctly, I don't have to stop. I'm not sure if I'll make it. Oh wow, yeah, that was pretty close. Okay. No rush. Get it. There we go. Now we have our pearls. Pearls. Let's see. So, 31. if I don't have 31 here, it's GG. Because that means I missed one somewhere. Well, we didn't ruin the run. <laughs> Yay. Because then you'd have to figure out which one you missed too, which is even worse. Yeah, and where to find one quickly. Yeah, exactly. Well, you could do one of those, like, uh, hidden, like, uh, yeah, I could like do on that. the water, those things. Yeah. That would be a good backup, I guess. Yeah, those probably. should take, like, a minute or so. I mean, if you need one fast, you might as well, if you can't find any. Yeah. Slow motion because dramatic effect. I like how during this part the alpha sections they don't care that they're blowing like half the city up. And we're safe. Oh, Casper, be the one. 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 Oh, Casper, be her back anyway. I'll take care of her then. Yeah. Also, that guard is completely oblivious to the fact we fall next to him. And these guards are, I'm pretty sure they're not alpha section now. These are like other, oh no, those, some other guards. Well, no, they, actually, they could be from the same place that the way he comes from. Yeah, he, he, he's got the like same the, armor. The, the community yeah. arm, army or some stuff like that. Like, free land soldiers, that kind of stuff. Yeah. That would make more uh, sense, <coughs> actually, yeah. Okay. So then again, that would still look weird to me, even as a normal citizen, especially if you had uh, army training. So, uh, on the right side, you can see the lighthouse. And now when I go and buy this stabilizer, something will happen to it. I guess I have one. The other one is actually in the cave with the spaceship, so... Salut les amis. Okay, so now... Oh, the, they are... They blew uh, it up. ...other guards that tell you... ...tell Jay to... ...read the IOS network stuff, so they're fan of the IOS network stuff. So. They tell her to move along. Yeah, so the alpha section decided to blow the lighthouse up and kidnap all the kids. There's a pretty long cutscene here with Woof. Pretty weird dialogue if you have it on English. This is like the saddest moment in the game, very much. Yeah, there's a health upgrade here that I don't need. <laughs> so yeah. 
Now we wait. House got wrecked. <laughs> Whoops. There's Polar yeah. Bear. <laughs> they were pretty quick about it as well. He's alive. Yeah, it's Woof. Woof. Yeah, there's a shirt of that that you yeah. can get into the drawing for but donating five dollars as well. Yeah, it's Woof so and Jade. So donate now, guys. Get your donations in. You can get a copy of Steam copy of the game and the T-shirts. You might need to. Also, make sure that you <laughs> haven't donated to the blue stream instead of the yellow stream. That <laughs> might cover get some confusion. So she's actually talking to Woof here. I think so. Why oh, you want to plug them? Right like asking him that, like, like you really thought you could do something. Basically, she's really disappointed at Woof. And Double Age is like, yeah, but you know, it's not over yet. She's like, nope, it's over. Ils sont vivants, Mademoiselle Jade. Page, les enfants, ils sont tous vivants. So Tex has the cave with the spaceship. You have to use two consoles uh, in this place. Um, if you do that to start the game, you have to use both. But right, like now, where I am now, with the lighthouse destroyed, I don't even need to use the first one. I don't know why, because there are two codes on the Ed boots. I can just ignore the first one. He has a rocket boots thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember the code because my memory is awesome. Oh, yeah. Something with G. Memory right? hype. Also, that was totally not happening. Yeah, there should be. Okay. okay, so everyone, um, we do have a small change to the schedule. Um, we now won't be doing Bind of Isaac on this stream at the moment. Um, instead, we'll be going straight to Grim Fandango. So we do have a couple of donation incentives for Grin Fandango. Um, none of them really have any money on at the moment. So if you'd like to have a few of these things in the game, um, donate now. So uh, to listen to Kaula, um it's a hundred dollars, and there's nothing on that at the moment. Looking and reciting the Moon poem is two hundred and thirty dollars, and there's nothing on that either. And you also have. A donation choice of um, the blue and animal as well. Um, not, none of these have any amount on at the moment, but you can choose from the dog, cat, or Robert Frost. So, if you'd like to donate it to one of them, uh, get them in now because Grim Fandango is coming up next. Ans, Page. 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 Okay, so there's the second stabilizer and an MDF that I really, really want. There we go. Now we can actually use this ship. And this is not, not like a normal spaceship because the hovercraft attaches to a spaceship. That's like the way, the only way you use it. Yeah, it like mounts into it. For yeah. Whatever on that reason. Weird, like you can enter like they did now, but you can obviously fly like this. Yeah. If you're wondering why, the, why there's no binding of, of Isaac, basically the guy never showed up, so sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have one more Dom Serpent now. I'm going to force him to go this path. You can go right or left. It's actually better to go on the left. Because you have more opportunity to hit him. Uh -huh. 
Forcing him to go that way it allows me to go to this place immediately. I have to start killing. And this is like the volcano cave. And we got a load of pearls in here. And we have a few new donations in, so I'm going to read them now. Uh, we have five donors from an, an anonymous donor, and there's a uh, Carlson and Peters. Uh, <laughs> there we go. And another five dollars from Donisphere. I wanted those t-shirts also. Uh, I wanted those t-shirts also. This game is so good, I might consider picking it up for as a run. I wish my internet would let me watch in full beautiful HD dance game. Well, more like half HD, but still. <laughs> Whatever. You get the point, yeah. Carlson and Peter! Yeah, so all the pearls I need are held by Kroshak. Yeah, because why not make it even more annoying? Yeah, and double H is useful, as always. Yeah, they're like... At least they scream at you. Yeah, the AI is weird. Like help, you know. You have a huge hammer and like kinda use it maybe. Attention, Oh look. Pin again. Okay, let's see if I can grab all these ones. Nope. For some reason, like, she won't grab all of them. I don't know why. It's pretty random. So when I'm done in this place, I only need three more pearls. Then we can go to the moon. Taking on horrible AI. Oh my god. If, if you're fighting, it's not gonna pick up pearls. That's pretty nice. It's not in front of the fight. Yeah, but they're really, really annoying. That pack was really, really annoying. Yeah, they just didn't want to take that. Hit. Like, sometimes they will go like. Far, far away. Like, they will go off screen. Like. Fighting one? No. Oh, he decided to go back. Okay. Please. So apparently, you're supposed to kill them and not make out with them. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, that, that was really not clear. Thank you, chat, for cleaning that one up. Yeah, I'll tell Double H to stop. We'll tell the other runner. Everybody will be informed now. <laughs> okay, I got all these things. Okay. So now I'm done in this place, and I only need to visit one more area, like way smaller than this. But it can be really annoying. Like Double H is really good at blocking me in the next place. So I hope he will stay out of my way for once. And yeah, as usual, I need to wait for him. So slow. Oh, thank you. Sometimes the boost on the uh, the hovercraft actually gets stuck. 
into the off the on position and it's yeah. like, yeah, let's just not stop losing. Why don't go fast? Normally you just hold it and then we release it stops boosting, but nope. Okay, these, we haven't seen these enemies yet. I have no idea what they're called, but they, they like, when they see you, they make it like a noise and they attack you two seconds afterwards. They're really easy to avoid, but they remove one heart every time they hit you. Let's see if double H can stay away from me. So there are four lasers that I need to destroy. And if I don't use that robot on the last one, I need to use two of these robots to destroy. I don't know why, because it's the same type of laser. So if I use this one, it will be instantly gone. Like if I use one of the white ones, I need to use two. It's just weird. My frame rate dies. Always dies here. Please. There we go. So now I can actually buy the motor, stellar motor. I can go to moon. And now, from now on, I don't need any more pearls. I just need to kill some stuff. There are, let's see, there are two boss fights left. Two of the best fights as well. So. Where are you? There you are. Go left. Luga. Okay, so when you're in the spaceship, there's no delay to firing like on the hover if you're using the hovercraft there's a delay I don't know why because I don't really use it uh, anyway on the spaceship I'd rather like do the targeting stuff there we go yeah the last upgrade, finally. Yay. We can finally get to the last area of the game. Yep. Hype. There's a, there's a pretty long cutscene now. Oh, oh yeah. I performed a boss fight. Also, why the hell would Mamago ever have a space? There's a space yeah. whale here, by the way. Look. Right there. Oh. I don't know why, it's just safe work. Nice. Okay, so we finally arrived. Now, this is the uh, transmitter where we need to enter and broadcast our message instead of their propaganda. Yeah, and like when you push these buttons, there's like a short cutscene, like it like grabs your camera. But if I use my camera, I can actually fire at both of these. Let's see if I am actually in position. I have no idea where I am. No, okay. I can actually get into and this and like be standing on this elevator after that second cutscene. And we have a new donation that's just come in. Um, it's a five dollar donation uh, from um, Concetsu. Oh, hello. Um, this is for Chujun. Yes. Sorry, I couldn't watch from all the run, dude. All the best for the rest of ESA. Follow us hype. Run a choice for where this goes. Do you have any like goal you want to set it to specifically, or do you want to have a look in a little while? No, I have to look. Okay, so, sure. Yeah, we'll get that sorted after. Yeah. Come on. Okay. So this is a laser thing. I need to use it throughout the whole building. 
It's the one breeder. You got this three? Hmm? You got this three? So this is the base, like the Dom's base that we're in right now. This is why it looks so weird. Oh, what? You can actually... What? You can move those with Please. the disc? Or do I just not remember that? Yeah, you can fire at them to move them. I don't think I ever realized that at some point. That's really handy. Nice. Some nice graph for the <laughs> I was planning to start running this game, so... When I learn it, might be a good answer. Learn all the cutscenes. <laughs> yeah, sure. Bacon breath. Woo. I missed him. Turn, please. Turn. Uh, she does not want to stop in the right position. Okay. So, yeah. The endless freaking adjusting of lights. Well, the first one is like the worst one. The other ones you can just move one. Yeah, but they like, they sometimes give you like a free one, but most of them are just gonna be like yeah. a bit. Yeah, so this one. I think that works. That one, and then we're done. There we go. Now a double H is useful again. To the rescue! Carlson and Peters, whatever point that is on. Yeah, one of Dom's is in that one. Adam AK is at ESA, actually. Not sure where he is, but probably chilling somewhere. But yeah, he is at ESA. Sorry, I interrupted you. Yeah, it's fine. It's Diane, this is probably probably the saddest cutscene. Yeah, it is. Just make some bacon. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. He's what? just sleeping. <laughs> He's just on an internal sleep. Yeah. Okay. Like, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Woof. Dog and pig. Yeah, totally the same thing. <laughs> 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 Dogs and pigs, I don't think it's bad of your head. Okay, shit. Yeah. Okay, it's scared now. Sorry, we're having... We're being attacked by flies right now, so... Okay, so we're gonna go grab the evidence now. One of them. Yeah. Also funny how the Dom's technology just picks up some stranger. Because that's totally legit. And all. Yeah, here we have the alpha sections. I'm getting attacked. It's bad. Oh, alpha sections, actually. Yeah, I should call it that. Yeah, so I, I had to wait, like, uh, wait with my special attack because you, you can, like, you don't take any damage from grenades, like, if you're up in the air. The tiny crypt. Okay, so let's see, I should be able to use. Uh, yeah, this is Ubisoft, right? Yep. Yep. Also, totally through the wall again. Yeah, like if you go like just a few more steps, there's a cutscene. So you can just completely skip that one and take a photo of the wall. That's the third one with 
A wall. No, he's go all the way back. Yeah, it's, this is one of those. You have to backtrack. And yeah. oh, wait, more backtracking. Now we have the evidence to broadcast this. said that she would bring Paige home, but we just run past him. I'm impressed she won't break her back trying to carry Paige. Yeah, screw that. Jade, nous pouvons sauver les autres victimes. Il faut diffuser le reportage depuis les méthodes. This is like this cutscene coming up. This is the only cutscene where my audio, when I run this at home, where it dies halfway through. It's just gone. Let's check it. But after cutscene, it's back. Like a common problem people have is that the audio and cutscenes, like, they're... Yeah, not, it's been happening on stream yeah. as well, apparently, so... Yeah, I'm not surprised. No, it... whatever. Apart from that single, like... So, yeah. The one thing you gotta worry about, like... How is he suddenly fine? A bit tardy, the coup du code sur les chaussures. No more bacon. Yeah, he, he, he was smoked, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah. Uh, if you watch, like, the credits... We should. Yeah, it's Honestly, a, it's, should. it takes like five minutes, maybe, yeah, just but... Do it. Just do it. It's really good. Yeah, afterwards there's a setup for a sequel, so... Yeah, but... So Ubisoft, when is Beyond the Good and Evil 2? Because yeah, we've good been question. waiting. We've been waiting yeah, for the long as well. Yeah. It's worth the wait. Can I continue? What? Huh? So now I have to go back and broadcast this. Then after that, we going to do the... Uh, second to last boss fight of the game, which is like, I think the the last two boss fights are like the best ones by far. I mean, the one in the factory is not even a fight, to be honest. Okay. To recuperate. Oh, you're so I okay. So, like, on the way to the elevator, um, Double Age, he says, like, oh, I've been in this machine for, like, 16 hours. And Paige is like, so what? I've been in it for three weeks. Apparently it's a contest. Please, thank you. If I'm if I'm too quick into this room, both of them will just be standing around doing nothing. Not really to have a for a while. Well, I need one kind of Pringle that's all I've had for the past ten hours. Or something. Well, yeah. Or no, yeah, okay, so I might actually. Woke up at like three. Damn. If I die here, it's not a big problem because I don't. I want some health anyway. Last time I was up for 44 hours. So 24 is the least I can do. We'll see. This turret can be a huge troll. So. I've done the last boss fight with like half a heart left. So. Yeah. 
It's a marathon. Yeah, I... Murphy's Law and all. Yeah. Reason. Whatever heart you can get away with, you probably want to have. I can die on every face on that fight. It, you do have the food, unless you need to use it for... Yeah, there's something. only one heart, so it's pretty Oh, yeah, bad. true. But it's still one heart more than... I could buy health if I want to. Yeah. If you want to be safe, you might want to consider it an option, honestly. We have a $25 donation from yeah, one I aided. Um, be one there's no comment on there, but thank you very much for your donation. It's greatly appreciated. It's probably a bit faster to go get some food okay. instead of dying on the last boss. So. But dying gives you health back, so yeah. That could also be an option, but that does put you back at like a safe point. Like I could, like if I die intentionally at the spider, it's like the checkpoint is like two seconds away. I guess he does. I know, that's why I normally die anyway. Because <laughs> there are like three guards that are annoying. And, and like you have two companions that do nothing, even if you tell them to do something. Well, that's not pronounced correctly, but yeah. Giant piece of pork. Well, at least there's more than a meat we got some to spare. So yeah, we tried to broadcast it and we started like, like shutting it's, down. It's kind of hard to s send pictures over the internet. <laughs> Even though you do receive your emails. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Email's fine. This is like the longest cutscene in the game. It's been for the past hour. Amigos, <laughs> señores, Thank you. Señoras, the best part of this whole cutscene is when they show the pictures I've taken. Because there are like three of them are like walls. Oh, they actually do load the pictures. Yeah, they show on the screen, like on the propaganda screen. Nice, they actually do keep the pictures. Yeah, so that's great. So, uh, these are the actual ones I've taken, so yeah. there should be one on the wall. Next one. There it is. That's the first one. Perfect evidence. Well, it proves that they have walls. Yeah. They yeah there's build, another one. They can build walls. <laughs> That's for sure. And there's the last one. Awesome Wait. The... Revolution. There's actually one NPC in this crowd that teleports and that cuts him. I have no idea why. I know, one and a half minute to escape. If you can't make this, then something's seriously wrong. It's like with double age timer. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Now it's the Alpha Spider boss. Oh yeah, yeah. of course. And then it's the last one. This fight is really fun. It's fun, and like, it's cool. But, but like, there's the guy. 
he figured out how to get into space. The laser attack he does is like completely random, so you never know if you're going to get hit. He has gamble. So I just try and stay as long as possible and not get hit by that laser. And, and I have no repair, so. Yeah, that would be bad. It gets way more complicated. Yeah, yeah this one is actually a boss. <laughs> so here I, I I'd rather use the targeting system because he's turning so much. It's annoying to try and hit him with normal attack. Yeah, you really wanna like if I die now then I don't know. And he's wrecked. Yeah, it's a short one, that's fine. Yeah, true, but at this point, I need to go. Okay, so the tractor beam is still engaged. And there are guards in here, so I'm most likely die here. But, I mean, I get my health back, so it doesn't matter. <coughs> All the grenades. <coughs> oh, wow. They <laughs> All of them blocked my attack. Holy crap. That is horrible. Still two left. Oh, Please, like there's one guy left. Oh, yeah, the one. rolls into those things are like the most amazing thing ever. What? You just roll fly up. Yeah. They're I have, great. I have one hard lift, so I can't get him once. <laughs> it's the boss. I think he does. I think it's at least two hearts per attack. Yeah. I can just I can just run into that electrical thing, but I have to do all this again. Oh yeah, now. Yeah. There's another so there's no there's no there. checkpoint. <laughs> no, you should have done it earlier if you wanted. Well, just don't die, Kappa. Yeah. I could die at the start of the fight, boss fight. It's fine. But if it's the start, it doesn't. Like, it isn't that. Like, so long as it's not just before the last hit. No, no. I mean, there are checkpoints in the boss fight. Oh, well. okay. Yeah. But I, it's better to just get hit immediately by that. Like the normal enemies, so yeah, I'll just do that to get some health because the last part of the last fight is pretty damn annoying. Okay, so we need to go to that landing pad, but, but <laughs> I have no health. <laughs> Holy crap, and my ship might actually die. Oh, you should respawn here. In the fight. Let's see. I'm trying to dodge these, see what happens. Yeah, this fight is like, oh, have you seen enough enemies yet? Let's add another to you. Yeah. Target, mm -hmm. please. How do I need mean, to be Okay, yeah, now it's like <laughs> suddenly Mama Girl made like major traffic. Yeah, there are they people. Just everybody to get space. I but saved my yes. own ship. Yeah. I hit an ally, but whatever. Yeah, so that's it. Just step on this elevator here and 
That's the last fight. So, still not sure why, like, the Dom slash Alpha section makes elevators for free people, but... Yeah. Yeah, so... Sensing games don't go together that well anyway. The first thing the boss says is Shawnee. And she picked that nickname for her. Well, you get it in the beginning as well. Yeah, so... She said that at the start of the game. Yeah, there's like a story game of that too, but that's a bit hard to get into. Basically, like what he's saying is that she's finally, uh, he finally found her, like after centuries. And that she's not the one she thinks she is. So Paige tries to like, just stop him from telling the truth and just get sucked in. This is yeah, this is this boss is called the Dom High High Priest of the Doms or something. Yeah, so right here he's trying to kill her human form. The double H interrupts her, or the boss. And then double H is like, yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm gonna die here so I can get my health back. Stink. GG. So yeah, like the like the gimmick with this boss is it's gonna end up inverting your controls. Yeah, there are two like two special phases in this fight. The first one is just. No problem, but the second one is the same one, but with inverted control. Yeah, I'm gonna so get hit there. If you're not like on controller, I basically like figured out that I could just hold my controller upside down and switch it back really fast. Yeah, I'm gonna try a quick kill here, quick hit, and I have the wrong spawn. So that might work anyway. Nope. As wait. I can remove one crystal and then use a second page to hit the boss and use it like that. So instead of hitting him like three times with the normal range attack, I just throw a pig in him. And now double H gets so much as well. Now I'm no companion. Left alone. Yeah, this part is like a reaction time thing. Mm -hmm. But try that with inverted controls. And even a little bit faster, I think. Um, yeah, the second part is it's, less it's faster. It's less yeah. forgiving, basically. No, <laughs> that's why people hate this fight, it's because of that last one. Yeah, it's like invert control and less forgiving. Let's go. Have fun. Yeah, he blocked my attack. Fast. One guy blocked it, and the second one didn't even make it. Yeah, no, amazing. Like, the quotes they are having mm -hmm. is like, "You're a, uh, you're a traitor," and that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. So from now on, I have inverted controls. So yeah. Good luck with that. motion with this. Okay. This is the last part of fight now. And time. 23817. Wow, okay. Not bad. Good one, man. Good one. Hopefully it will play the cutscene. Sometimes it won't play it. I don't know why. Let's see. Because it really does finish the yeah. story. We should be able to. I mean, we're ahead of schedule, so.
Please play. Yeah, it's it's her way. It looks like it. Any news for the spot? No? Apparently he's not been signed up or paid, so he just disappeared off the radar. Yeah, credits should take like five minutes, so it's if you want to see the setup or you skip it. Said 2:38, uh, four minutes off. Sorry. Is that 2:38? 2:38, yeah. Yeah, that's four minutes off PB. Congrats, man. Yeah. That's a good run. World record is I mean, two for 2:29. Yeah. With new strats. Yeah, I mean, considering you've not used a strat. Yeah, I only used a few yeah. new strats. Like, the other strats are like... Too taking out different pictures and not picking up some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's just... Marathon safety and everything considered, you put a really solid run out. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather have a safe run. Yeah. You had a good one, too. I mean. Yeah, so this part is like five minutes-ish. Should be fine because they are setting up anyway. That's a good cutscene. Yeah, so during the credits, it goes around the lighthouse and ends with bacon bread. Who's bacon? Making bacon. Need that setup. Yeah, I just need to shut the game down after this. Oh yeah.
might have to be turned back here. Scale it, scale it now, number one. Yeah, because it stopped showing up on the screen. Oh, yeah. playing, uh, yeah. playing, uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.